Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Jay Carr Ray and in this video I'm going to be sharing 12 pro tips or advanced tips for Ghost Recon Wildlands. Now, the first tip was well, not really a first tip but it's a bonus tip is to unlock fast travel points with helicopters on them because getting to and from locations is really 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 super tedious if you do not have air support or air travel it's, it's really really better but let's start off with tip number one tip number one is you only have to hit the door of cages to open them now what i usually do or did before i knew this was i would actually go all the way shit oh my god i can't believe really miss missed that what there we go <laughs> what i would do is i would go all the way next to the cage and shoot the lock but all you have to do is shoot the door and then Bob's your uncle is open the hostages can start running out and do their business you don't even have to shoot like the bottom part of the door and now they will do our bidding oh shit oh that was risky tip number two is if you find a VIP with intel and take him to a different region that you haven't yet explored and got the intel on if you interrogate him in that different region he will give you intel on the region that you actually just brought him to so that's a good tip if you've found a uh, a guy and he's got intel but you've already got all the intel in that region you can just move him to somewhere else and get the intel elsewhere find different weapon parts that sort of thing look alive we got company Tip number three is you can host your weapons to run faster. So in order to host your weapons, what you have to do is hold down the triangle button on the PS4. I believe it's the Y button on the Xbox. You can sprint a whole lot faster. Let's see the difference. I've worn them in the forest, I've worn them in the desert, I've worn them in the mountains, but I've never tried them in the jungle. I figured my feet would get too wet. You're a fucking genius, man. Okay, I'm putting this back into it really really putting it back into it yeah so now you know if you need that little extra half of a second to get to a place and get out of range or something you can host your weapons and uh book it run for the sunset run forest run i actually haven't seen forest Gump, you know. i don't know if that's a correct reference or not <laughs> Tip number four is teammates will automatically teleport to your vehicle so you don't have to wait around for them to actually get in whatever vehicle you're in. Wait a couple seconds or go where you need to go and they'll just eventually pop up on the side or in the passenger side if they can fit in. This is really handy when you're getting in very sticky situations and there's a bunch of people shooting at you and you really need to get out of the area. Don't worry about your teammates. Even if they go down, I believe they'll still teleport to your vehicle when you get around there. Tip number five is knocking out a target you need to capture will count as a kill. Now, I found this out the hard way when I was doing um, one of the Buchon missions. I was actually going to... Oh, let me not spoil it because you don't know who you have to kill and who you have to capture, to be honest. But I was trying to capture them and then I found one of the guys... or well, found the guy. I grabbed him and I believe I accidentally knocked him out or I thought knocking him out would allow me to put him in the boot of the vehicle which I wasn't able to do and as soon as I knocked him out he just died and I was like oh and also when I was playing another mission where I had someone to assassinate I grabbed them and tried to knock them out and that killed them also so if you ever have a choice between you know if you ever had an objective where you need to take someone out or you need to capture them do not knock them out <laughs> because it will just be mission fail and then you need to start again so definitely don't do that tip number six is that any weapon can one shot your enemies even if you just shoot them in the chest you don't have to give them a headshot as long as you are undetected and unspotted now we're going to try this out with the pistol as that is the weakest gun i have and we're going to do some sneaky sneaky murders here to see if we can get a one shot on these guys now over here oh here's a guy out and about but in this building over here we have a bunch of sleeping guys who i believe would probably take one shot anyways 
Let's make sure we have our suppressor on and let's shoot some people in their sleep. Gotta be got, it's gotta be done guys, it's gotta be done, for the sake of evidence. I see a team of Sicarios here. One, two, three. Now we gotta do this quick, because they will wake up. Shit. Well. <laughs> that worked out. <laughs> As you saw, the first guy was down straight away because he was sleeping the second guy woke up but he got down straight away as well i think when they start detecting you that's when it's going to take more bullets because as you saw the last guy as he was about to start engaging in, in a fight with us it actually took more than one bullet to take him down but let's see if we can shoot this guy over here who is also outside to just get one more kill to wrap it off I kind of feel like, you know, you should take out the sleeping people because if you piss off the awake person, he's going to tell all the sleeper people and they're not going to be sleeping anymore. But for the sake of this, we're just going to go straight for this guy who I believe is awake. I think there was two guys in here actually. Okay. We're gonna shoot him in his chest. Oh no, he's going to sleep. Alright, one shot killed him though. Even though he kind of was detecting us. One shot done it. Alright, next tip. Whilst we chase after this convoy, let me share tip number seven. Tip number seven is you should unlock thermal vision. As thermal vision will really help you out. It works in day and night time and it will show you where the important things are on the map for example jammers drone jammers um anti-air missiles people all that sort of stuff and it will help you mark that way more quickly than if you did not actually use one of these now let's go and get this convoy popping tip number eight is you can use a roadblock to stop a convoy for example, look here, we've actually blocked the road and I don't believe this convoy will be pushing on. They seem to obey the laws of the road. <laughs> Unlike people in GTA, if this was GTA, <laughs> the NPCs would be gone all over the gaff. They'd be gone by now. <laughs> They've actually turned off the... Um, their engines, they've given up on this right about now. So let's bring a nice little frag out. This is dangerous. Tip number nine is something that I kind of shared in my last video, but I'm going to expand on it a little bit more. Unsuppressed heavier sniper rifles like the MSR and the HTI can actually take out vehicles. I know I said in the last one that it can take out uh, choppers in one hit, but if you unsuppress it and you shoot at a vehicle, let's actually move back so they don't know where I am, then you'll be able to quickly incapacitate that. So let's do that here. Oh, that guy's at one, four, five. Yeah, let's move a little bit more. There we go. I think the first shot must have missed. However, we are now engaged. But yeah, this vehicle's done if you shoot it. Like, it can't move. Look at it should be smoky. Is it smoky? Yeah, it is smoky. And this is very good when you have enemies that try and run away from you. Like, that you need to capture or something. Okay, I'm just totally missing this guy. What the fuck? What? 
Is he not where it's saying that he is? Nah, he's in some sort of cover. Alright, let's get back. But yeah, that was tip number nine. <laughs> tip number 10 is as long as you remain at least 150 meters away, uh, you do not need to suppress your sniper rifle because the enemies won't actually hear it. Frag out, come in here to Culeros. Yeah. Fuck the civilians, bro. You already destroyed the van, anyways. Tip number 11 is if you destroy the convoy vehicle, you can still claim the goods, but you only get half of what it was worth. Area secure. The password to the rebels and tell them where to find the food truck. Let's go. So we're gonna get right to tip 12 after sorting out these guys. We, you just have to kill sleeping guys. It's gotta be done. I feel like it would be easier to start off with that guy and then kill these two. There we go. Because they're right next to each other. It's easier to get them at the same time. So everyone's dead here. Tip number 12 is to search out the special medals. Or what are they actually called? Are they called special medals? Bonus medals. Bonus medals are very good in terms of upgrading your character. Now, instead of spending the resources that you usually need to spend in order to upgrade your character, bonus medals just do that. Like they give you a bonus to your stats by just collecting the medal instead of using skill points and resources. So as you can see, now we've got a uh, quiet running. This is actually a stat that we can unlock by spending the resources and the skill points. But now we have the actual bonus medal. We've already gone up a rank to this. As you can see, the next rank reduces noise by 10%. And we've got a bonus medal that also reduces noise by 10%. Now, I'm assuming they stack. I'm not 100% sure. I think they probably do. But that, that bonus stat is very helpful when you don't want to you know, grind out the resources or go on side missions it's sometimes easier to just get the medal and get that done like pretty quickly i mean of course you do need to get three pieces of intel to even uh, have the bonus medals pop up on your screen <laughs> but it is very good to get them when you have the opportunity to and let's get this piece of intel there's some intel in this building and we go to oh this is a person Now I hope this video helped you guys out. I hope these 12 advanced pro tips are very useful. Be sure to join my Discord if you want to play Ghost Recon Wildlands with me and the rest of my subs. The link is in the description below. Thank you for watching and liking and subscribing and be sure to leave your own tips in the comment section also and let's get involved. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long So all this warmth I share with you